We're going to find out who actually is the uh, chicken dinner winner right here for the first overall pick in this draft. One thing I don't want to get lost here, this is a trade up. A lot of times a team with the first overall pick is the least talented team in the NFL. They were not up there. They moved up there. The talent on this roster, when you look at their depth chart, we've touched on their ability to win right away. That is not hope. This is this is very possible for them to get up and running right now. Well, the last several weeks and months have been all question filled when it comes to the NFL draft. We're about to get our first answer. The commissioner about to announce the first pick of the 2023 NFL Draft. With the first pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Carolina Panthers select Bryce Young, quarterback, Alabama. So Nick Saban of the Bryce Young contingent celebrating the first ever first overall selection out of the University of Alabama hugging CJ Stroud we'll soon discuss how much longer CJ's night might be but right now it's Bryce Young hugging Anthony Richardson and he's the first player out of the green room and out of Union Station to head to the stage and to put on a Carolina Panther hat. And welcome to the National Football League, Bryce Young. Think about all the work over his life that went into this moment to get him right here. Been told he's too small his whole life. He goes to modern day, the premier high school program in the country, dominates. Then goes to Alabama, the premier college football program, and dominates. And here he is once again, the first pick in the draft. What an accomplishment. And at no point did it ever seem too big for him. He, he played like he's getting to the stage with a slow heartbeat, with patience. This guy's in control all the time. And don't forget, was never afraid to humble himself. He played behind Mac Jones, a first-round pick, and then took over immediately thereafter. Daniel? Yeah, we can uh, jump into the video here, and let's see what this man looks like on the field. We've heard everything about his character, everything about his work ethic. That's all off the charts. There's a lot to love about what you see as well. The guys have talked about him being a point guard in a way that Drew Brees distributed the football. That's why the comparison exists, not just because of their size. But I come down to the four Ps. Let's start with pocket awareness, his sixth sense to be able to feel pressure, climb, get away from it, and deliver the ball accurately down the field. The poise, you get free rushers, he hangs in there. He's not the biggest guy, but he's not afraid. He gets his cleats in the ground. He'll take that hit and deliver the football. Ball placement for Julius Brents, the corner from K-State. You can't cover it better than this. He's in perfect position. This ball is almost hand-delivered to the wide receiver. And then the playmaking. This offensive line was not quite what it's been in years past for Alabama. He had opportunities like this against LSU CD to make things happen, and he did. Absolutely, and you already mentioned Drew Brees as a cop. How about I pay, I pay homage to Doug Flutie? Because what we're seeing here from Bryce Young, its ability to move around, locate target, put ball on target. Doug Flutie was doing that coming out of Boston College, but we weren't ready to receive him yet because of his size in the NFL. Had to go to Canada and then come back. But you're seeing the same playmaking ability. Doug Flutie born too soon. Kurt Warner talked about the ability to play from the pocket, to play on schedule. We just saw that from Drew Brees. That's what you will get from Bryce Young. And as you can see, he measures the same height as Kyler Murray, who was drafted first overall as we remember a couple of years ago and this was the moment that he was receiving the news officially from the Carolina Panthers and hugging it out as a dream comes true the tough part Joel real quick you saw the 204 listed you saw the weights with the other guys he's not a real 204 that was 204 to get there for the combine correct the other guys Russell Wilson even Drew to some extent you know, although Drew was a little bit more like Bryce, you know, but those guys were thick, right? Those guys were thick, but Bryce is built for the modern game, and he distributes it better than anybody I've seen. Well, I have to jump in. The Cardinals are now on the clock, so the Texans didn't wait very long to choose their next choice as we send things to Melissa Stark on stage with the first overall pick. Melissa? Well, Rich, he swears he didn't know. You are the highest 
player drafted out of Alabama in the common draft era and the number one overall pick. How does it sound? Uh, it, it's, it's still crazy. Um, it's a blessing. Um, I'm super grateful to be here. Um, you know, I'm super grateful for the blessings from God for allowing me to be here. I'm, I'm grateful for all the people that, that allow me to do it. Um, you know, as amazing as, as this moment is, and I'm going to try to live in the moment, I can't wait to get to work tomorrow and, and start building off of that. Talk about getting to work. Carolina has needed a quarterback for a couple of years now. What do you bring into this team? Everything I have. Um, you know, I, I'm going to give everything to, to the franchise, to the organization, to the coaches, um, you know, that believed in me and, 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 and drafted me. And, you know, I'm, I'm forever indebted for that. Um, so everything I have, preparation, on, not just on Sundays, but throughout the entire week, uh, I'm going to give it my all. Sure, Panthers fans love hearing that. Congratulations. Thank you.